Okay, so in this video, we're going to be doing about how to construct pie charts. Because um, overall, it's actually okay, it's just sometimes a little bit fiddly. Um, to do this, you are going to need two bits of equipment. So you're going to need a compass and a protractor. Um, so one's obviously going to be doing the angle bit and the other one is to draw the circle. Um, if you don't have one of these, it's not the end of the world. Um, as long as you've got a protractor, that's an important one. If you only have a protractor, I'll show you how to draw a circle with it. Because um, that's what I had to do with this, because the pointy bit obviously doesn't go on a whiteboard. Um, so yeah, so if you've only got a protractor, you'll be absolutely fine. If you don't have a protractor, you're going to have to go and get one, because you can't do this topic without it. So, for example, you'll be given a question like this. So this table shows a number of each colour of car that's been seen in one day. Okay, so these are the colours and this is called the frequency. So frequency is just how many they saw. So they saw five red, seven blue, eight silver and ten black. Now this bit in red, this is the formula that I'm going to use to work out how um, big the angle is going to be on my pie chart for these bits of data. Okay, so we've got the frequency, so that would be what the frequency is for a particular colour, for this example, um, divided by the total frequency. So the total frequency would be these all added together. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So if you add all those up, you would get 30. So there was 30 cars in total. Okay. So that's going to be 30 for this particular question. Obviously, it will change, so just make sure that you work out what, the, what all these add up to. And then we multiply that by 360. Now, the reason why is, is because in a circle, there are 360 degrees. Um, so that's why we need to multiply by that. So for each one, I'm going to show how I use this formula to work out the number of degrees. So we're going to start with the red one. So we do 5, because that's how many cars that were red, divided by the total frequency, which was 30. And then we times that answer by 360. Okay, and you can use a calculator for this. Um, so 5 divided by 30, multiplied by 360, and that gives us 60 degrees. Okay. And we just do the same thing each time for all the colours. I'm going to change colours a bit so it doesn't go too confusing. So for the blue, there were seven blues in total out of 30 cars that were in total. And we times that by 360. Okay, a uh, bit of a cheat. If you just um, keep clicking the left-hand button, you can just change the top fraction number because that's the only bit that will actually change. 84. Okay, and again for the next one, so silver, um, so there was eight silvers, times that by 360. I'm pretty sure it's 90 something, 96. Yep, yeah, 96. And the last one, so 10 out of 30, which will give us 120. Okay, so it's just really important that we remember this formula. So this formula will be used for any um, question that you'll need to do when constructing pie charts. Okay, so these angle bits are the first bit. I'm just going to turn over because then we're going to actually construct the pie chart. Okay, so I've got the angles here. I've pre-drawn the circle because I didn't want to look like an idiot if it went wrong. Um, so the first thing you need to do if you are using a compass is that you draw a dot in the middle of your page whatever you're writing on okay it doesn't actually matter how big or how small the pie chart is um, they don't really mind and generally in exam questions they'll have this circle already drawn for you which is quite nice um, so yeah so you just open up the um, compass as wide as you want really I probably wouldn't go any wider than maybe two or three centimeters and um, but it's your choice then you'd put the pointed end in the middle where you've just done your dot and then you would draw a circle round okay if you don't have a compass um, you can do it with your protractor so same thing you draw the dot there 
and if you look on a protractor you should have like a cross there sometimes there's like a little um circle where the lines will cross if you put your protractor on that point so on there so that cross is in the middle of my circle then you draw around it and then if you turn the protractor the other way and do the exactly the same thing you'll then get a perfect circle okay so that's another way of doing it if you don't have a compass so i have drawn this line here just because um this is the line that we're going to start measuring from um but also i just like it starting from north okay but it's your decision so first one is red which is 60 degrees so i'm gonna make sure that the line that i've drawn here is in line with the zero and on the outside so we're not going to be looking at the inside numbers at all okay just the outside numbers so i'm going to start off with my um protractor being this way around okay so the cross on the protractor is in the middle of the circle that i've uh, the dot that i did right in the beginning of the circle um, and this line is where zero is now red was 60 so i'm going to look at the outside numbers and find where 60 is which is here and I'm just going to draw a little mark there, if I can get the protractor off, yes. Okay, so that's the mark for red. I'm then just going to draw a line from the middle to that little mark that I've just made. And I'm just going to call it red. Okay, if you've done yours quite small, you might not be able to fit the colours in. So you can colour them in red if you want to. Um, or you can do like a little arrow out and then write red. It's your decision. Okay, so for the next one, we're going to be doing the blue one. So this time, before I had the zero where we started here, now because we've done the red bit, I'm now going to make the zero in line with that red line. So again, the cross is going to be in the middle. Okay, and the zero is going in line with that line I've just drawn. Okay, we then need to see where 84 degrees is. Keep looking at the outside of the circle. 84, which is roughly about there. Yep. Okay, again, I'm just going to draw a line from the middle to that line or little mark that I've made. And then I'm going to label that blue. Okay, and then you just carry on doing exactly the same method. So again, protractor is going to go in the middle. The zero is going to go in line with the blue line that I've just drawn. Yeah, like that. Okay, this time it's 96. So we're going to look at where 96 is, which is over here. Okay. And then I'm going to draw the line connecting it from the outside to the middle and then label it silver. Now, because there's only one left, we know that that's going to be the black one. OK, but it is really good that we just check that that is 120 degrees. OK, so that's the zero. If I go round, look at the outside numbers. Perfect, 120 degrees. And I can't get the tractor off the board. There we go. Mm. So this is the black one. Okay, now you don't have to write the degrees in the circles if you don't want to, but you can. So 120, 60, 84, 96. Okay, but it's your decision. So that is how you construct pie charts.